Good morning, everybody. Today is Saturday, December 15th, 2019. I'm going to stop her right there because it's actually not Saturday. It's Sunday. Oh, it's but Sunday, December 16th. We're a day late. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, we had a crazy week this week. Stacy's schedule for work is a little nuts with um, Costco. You've got some extra hours and doing some bakery things. Yes. So I've switched her schedule around. And then she's still working at the other job. Remember back in October when she said, oh, things are going to get so much better at the end of October. Well, she's still at the other job too. And then uh, we also have body art, which we're still doing things for. And we had a body art event yesterday as well. Yes. And we had a Christmas party. So I barely even saw her like in and out the door in the hall. But I have a full voice back. Yes, and so do <laughs> I. Um, we did take a week's worth of antibiotics and steroids and feeling a lot better. Yes. Yes. And uh, man, those those meds tore my stomach up. Oh my gosh, I had such a rough week. Aww. But I'm so glad to be off of them and I'm glad to not be hacking up a lung. So we're feeling better. Yes. And we are a day late, but this is the first, I'm literally the first time I'm seeing her and she's still got to go to work in a couple hours. So. We're gonna go, we're gonna head off to church. Stacy's gonna head off to work to the bakery. Then, yeah, she's gonna go bake. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so so our day, our updates a day late. Sorry about that. Sorry. Yeah, but we're getting there. <laughs> it's real life. You're gonna get you know a little of this and that. It is. So week fifty four. It's December fifteenth. Well, sixteenth now. Sixteenth <laughs> Sunday. <laughs> yeah. And uh, for me, when we started this whole journey, I was three eighty two point six. Last year, December 1st, uh, 2018. And today, as of oh. December 15th, I was 334.6. And last week, I was 337.8. <laughs> I'm thinking some of that was the medicines yeah. and the steroids and the things that we were all on. Uh, I was just feeling horrible. I, the first day I took antibiotics, I literally threw up. And, and I realized that I didn't eat anything when I took them. And I think that's what tore my stomach up so bad. But... Um, that's all past <laughs> and, and we're on to better days. So Absolutely. very happy. So yeah, I was pretty happy with the 334.6 considering I was 337.8 last week out of nowhere. That's down just over three pounds. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah, 3.2. Cool. And it puts me at uh, 48 pounds yeah. since last year. Mm -hmm. So yeah, almost 50 pounds. Yep. I'll take it. You'll take it. Yep. Yep. <laughs> All right, December 1st, uh, I weighed in at 180.2. Last week, I weighed in at 136.4. I was up. Uh, the steroids were not nice to me. And this morning, I had to be a copycat, but a little bit less, I weighed in at 134.6 instead of 334.6. We do a lot of things like that. <laughs> Although there's 200 pounds difference. <laughs> It's like another person snuck in there, right? Right, right. So I'm down just about two pounds um, for a total of uh, 45.6 pounds uh, within the year. Now, I've certainly been less, but... Yeah, few. Yeah. You're pretty close. You're hovering where you want to be and they're happy with and comfortable with. Absolutely. So I still want to drop oh. another mm, 90. I'd like to be about 240. Nice. I'd like to. I'd like to ring in 2020 and be under 330 for a change. Gosh darn it! I got two weeks. Two weeks. You, you know, um, getting serious on this though. I I do want to start up um, another fast or two. I've had some insulin issues. I uh, went off metformin, which made my sugars go up a little bit, and they creeped up even more uh, into the second week of being off of it. And uh, after some quick discussions, we decided to go back on it until February. So I'm on 500 milligram of metformin. Mm -hmm. It's not really a failure, but uh, it is helping the sugars a little again. And um, I noticed it was kicking me out of ketosis, which is getting me nowhere. Um, gosh, I've got such a simple diet. <laughs> it really do. Um, that I'm hoping that with these adjustments, things will start getting on track and I can see some numbers come down. Because I certainly yeah. haven't strayed or gone off. Uh, we did a Christmas party the other day. And they had all kinds of yummies there. And, uh, yeah, I just stuck to some plain chicken because they had fajitas and all yeah. the fixins, And then they had nachos and cookies and all the yeah. extras. I just took some of the plain chicken, put that on a plate. I had cheese yeah. and chicken. 
So, and a diet pop. They had diet pop. There, yeah, so. that was nice at least. So, yeah, you know, I am sticking with it. I'm not, like, going off course. So, you know, just stick with it. Stick with it. We try, got and get, it. try and get under 330. Maybe by 2020. I don't know about that. January 1st would be awesome. Four pounds. Oh, I, I don't think know. We'll see. It. It's possible. You've done more than that. And I want to start up my Dr. Fung stuff. I want to try and get in at least a 48. I would love to get and push for 72. It's all mental. It's more mental than anything. I just got to get my butt into gear. I'm doing it. And I'm feeling better. I was actually down here on the bike yesterday for 50 minutes. Um, I've been having a horrible time with my uh, oh. lower back. Uh, I have sciatica that comes in a couple times a year. Out of nowhere, I'll be doing nothing, walking down the hall, and all of a sudden I'll be grabbing a wall. And uh, I had it this last week, let me tell you. Yeah. It's, it's gotten me good the last couple of days. <laughs> there, there was a day or two where I barely was moving. So I'm just very thankful to be able to be back down on the bike and feeling better, not mm-hmm. hacking up a lung, have a voice. It's so, so nice. Yeah, life is good. I'm, I'll take it. I can't wait for things to settle down and see Stace a little. Uh, tomorrow, we are going to go sneak off to see a movie in the morning. Don't tell Julia. Shh. Um, yeah, we're going to go see uh, Ford versus Ferrari, which is something I'm excited to see with Matt Damon. <clears throat> I always pick the movies. Well, yeah, we looked at what was out, and that was the one that made the most sense to us. And it does look interesting. It's got though. great reviews, and I'm real excited about seeing it. So, uh, And it's going to be a nice little treat for us. We're going to go to like a 10 a.m. movie and just yeah. go see a movie and uh, maybe sneak in a lunch or something. It'll be fun. Outback. I have to figure out Outback, huh? Okay. Oh. And, yes, uh, you could take me to Outback. I sure. Love that. I would love to take you to Outback. <laughs> And then we got to figure out uh, some little snacks or something. Maybe bring in a little Ziploc of almonds or something. Just so I have, I, I'm going to have a hard time smelling all that popcorn. But yeah. At 10 10, I don't think it's going to be busy on a Monday morning. Oh, you'll still smell it. They pipe that well, stuff into, yeah. the, <laughs> into the theaters <laughs> and make you like want it. But uh, <laughs> that's okay. I'll just, I'll, I'll make it through. I'll get it. Yeah. So let's see. Anything else going on? No. No. You got all your numbers written, red, red. <laughs> it's early guys, <laughs> it's early, <laughs> barely got any sleep. Yes, everything is, is going good. Um, Excellent. Get to pick up our daughter on Friday and she'll be home for a little bit until after the new year. Okay. Uh, so that'll be nice. Now, uh, I noticed l- last night when Stacy dropped Lauren off at college, she stopped by Kroger. And I did. Uh, you got some things for recipes. I did. So she had some recipe sheets with her. So I'm thinking maybe if we're lucky. Yes. Maybe we sneak in a recipe this week. Yes. What recipe? Or am I not? Uh, can I not do that yet? No, there's a couple. There's a French toast bake. Mm. Mm. I love French toast. I don't, I don't know how it'll turn toast. out, but uh, it looks good in the picture. <laughs> Throw some uh, <laughs> sugar-free syrup on it. I'll eat it. Yeah. Yeah, that looks good. And... Um, I want to redo that French soak pie. Oh, yeah. We did a French soak pie. What was that? Thanksgiving? On Thanksgiving, but I was going to do a video then, but woke up with no voice. It was it was pretty good, but it was too sweet for me. Yeah. It's so a very rich, chocolatey treat. That. So we'll bring the sugar down, the sweetener down a little bit. Yeah. Um, but it was really good in the whipped cream that I made to go with it. Yeah, that was better than the actual French soak pie because it's just one or two bites was really good. And then after that, it was too rich for me. I, I set it down. And the kids gobbled it up. Oh. Yeah, I put mine down. And Julia got... <laughs> it was gone. <laughs> so, yeah. It's you got to learn. It's almost like a pack of wolves in this house. Yep. You, know, you put something down and it's gone. So, True story. It's like when I make a pound of bacon and I put it in the fridge and I think, oh, I'm going to have some bacon. And then I go back and it's gone. <laughs> it's true. I, I got to the point where I was making two pounds of bacon so I could have three pieces later. Yeah. Bacon's good for a girl. Yeah. Right? You agree? Yeah. <laughs> I Lauren, wasn't that bad at it either. Lauren and Julia like to sneak too, and then they won't even tell you that they were in the fridge. You go in and there's a half a piece of bacon left. You know, you can always tell when they do it though because they don't put the lid back on right. <laughs> It's like when you make Kool-Aid and then you go in and you see like Kool-Aid stains around the 
the pitcher because they can't actually pick it up without spilling it. It's so, heavy. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, thank you for hanging out with us. And sorry we're a day late. And we are going to try and stay on course with the Saturdays, obviously, like we always do. Uh, once or twice we get off track a little, like yesterday. Unavoidable. Didn't even see her, much less have the opportunity to sit down and do this. No, I was gone early. I had to be to work yeah. early. They're running the bakery 24-7 until Christmas. How many pies was it? 9,000 that you... Yeah, Thanksgiving we sold 9,000 pies. <laughs> And still could have sold more if we had it. If you had more shifts and, and more pies. 9,000 pies in three days. Insane. Crazy. And how many pies did Bill eat? Zip. How you many would I like to? French silk pie. How many would I like to have eaten? One. Apple. No. Apple's my favorite. Cherry. What did they make? Pumpkin, cherry, and apple, and pecan, right? Yes, but cherry's only once a year. Yeah. Oh. That's my favorite. Christmas? No. In the summer. Oh, it's in the summer, huh? That's weird. Um, but apple's my favorite. Maybe look up a, a sugar-free alternative to an apple pie and make a little apple pie for Bill. <laughs> I'm glad you said for Bill, not for us. Well, I know you both. would eat it, so. But that, that would be really nice. I'm sure there's an alternative out there. I can do that. Yeah. I mean, I guess I could do it, too. It wouldn't turn out very well. <laughs> I could try. <laughs> I've been trying to make. I've been helping with fat heads too. Yeah, he has. Yeah, I had doughs made. I I've made her meatballs um, on three occasions. He yeah. did. Yeah, I made you uh, sixty-two or sixty-one meatballs the other day. Put them all in those Ziploc bags for her. She likes that Reos Arada, Aravada, yes. something like that. It's like a little bit of a kick in a marinara, and she'll put a little of that with the meatballs. And just go to town. Yes. But that, that makes me happy to see you eating. I'm happy to see you getting a good meal in. Yes. Yeah. So all's, all's good. <laughs> but thanks for hanging with us. And yes. we will see you next week. And hopefully during this week, we can get Stacy in the kitchen for 20 minutes to do a quick recipe. <laughs> Although minutes. I don't know what. <laughs> yes. Yes. 20 minutes, which turns into an hour and 20 minutes because she redoes it like 17 times. I'm not the tech person, so it doesn't matter. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> you can be. No. <laughs> you can be. I do not want to be the tech person. Anytime you want, no. you can take these cameras and do it yourself. On that note, we're going to say goodbye. We're going to flip the rolls. I'll do the recipe. I'll, I'll do that gladly, and you can no. film it, and we'll see how it turns out. Well, I can film it. And you no can problem. edit it, too. No, the editing is what I don't want to <laughs> <laughs> Then you got to figure out how to upload it. No. And fill all the little descriptions and all the little tags and all the little That's what I got you things. for. Mm-hmm. I gladly do it for us. Yes. All right, guys. See Thank you later. You. We'll see you. Bye. Bye.